Hey guys, uh, we're making um, a crankshaft truing rig, okay, um, it's for a small capacity uh, motor, 50cc to 8cc uh, like that, and uh, we want to check that it's true, because it can go out um, before, we, um, before we assemble, okay, so um, what you need, you need some angle iron, and um, 35 millimeter inch and a half uh, angle iron and um, you want to cut it that you want to cut it so that you have two lengths and this is about um, 13 inches 330 340 millimeters like that okay same length each and um, you need some, some old bits of maybe furniture wood, you know, that's nice and, and, and solid. And uh, these are um, 50 millimeter in width. You can see it's, it's a reasonable chunk. And so it's going to go nicely in between the, um, the angle iron. And um, you want one piece cut. To suit, hang on, I'll put it down. And I'll zoom it in. You need a piece cut to suit the, um, the width of the vise, okay, and uh, another piece cut to um, to go at the end, which is going to stabilise everything. And these are going to go in 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 between, and. Um, what you're going to leave is a gap of about 100 millimetres between, between the two. So, uh, what we know is that with this at the end, we can measure 50 millimetres in, thereabouts. If we've got 100 millimetres, we've got enough space for, um, for the crankshaft. We know that 50 millimeters is wide enough. So measure um, about 50 millimeters in, which is half your 100 millimeter gap, and then um, mark it off and we're going to start cutting a V. Now I've got this in a, supported in a vise between, so I've got the two pieces together. And they're clamped in between two pieces of wood because obviously with the legs stuck out, you can't clamp them directly into the vise. You've got to clamp them with packing. And then, and it's also clamped up with this vise. But you might not have such a, a lovely vise, but you can use clamps. Um, what all we're trying to do is just try, try and get it rigid, that's all. And uh, what I would do, what I'm thinking is going to be make life easier for the filing, is to take our hacksaw and um, just simply down and we can go as far as you want that doesn't look bad I don't know how far down that is it's about six six millimeters we'll see how it goes we can always cut a bit further and then it's just going to be a case of taking your triangular file And oh, you can see the action. There's a certain action, just like with the um, the hacksaw cutting uh, video. You have um, you, you make your body like a mechanical system, and so it's always level. You're cutting level. 
just apply a little bit of pressure downwards as you push and then let it ride back. And uh, we're going to take that, um, that cut down. It'll only take a few minutes, but I'll, I'll come back to you. Right, okay, so um, yeah, the, the, the hacksaw cuts down to about 7 mm. Um, we've got the V um, cut down, and so we can now move on to our um, flat file. And this flat file has got um, a non cutting edge. So when you're buying a file, Always look for one with a non-cutting edge on the side. Some of them come, this one's got a cutting edge on this side, <coughs> and it's plain on that side. And they're very useful because we can now ride on that surface without cutting it and cut the other surface, and then we can go around and, 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 and like that so that we can expand the, um, the V like that. The, the, the triangular bit, by the way, only took a, a couple of minutes to do. Right, okay, so that only took, um, took literally a few seconds to, uh, to do. And, um, and so we now have, um, we now have our, our V um, cut nicely. And um, let's just try and let's get this out. Nice. Perfect. Um, so we can now we can now um, dismantle this and um, and cut away some of the side so there's only a small uh, amount in contact with the uh, with the crankshaft. Okay, so that's that's the V done, as you can see, it's fine, and um, and this is what it looks like, okay, so that's how it's going to, that's how it's going to be more or less, and um, I'm going to put in some, some drill here with um, some holes that are the uh, core of the screw. So we're going to have four holes in this side and four holes in this side. Three here and three here. And I've pot marked them out. So we'll drill through with um, a drill and uh, it's three and a half um, Three and a half millimeter drill. I'm just, uh, I've got some fairly meaty, meaty screws, and so we'll, the first stage will be to drill the metal with uh, at, at the core of the screw, so that it's just the the, the, the screw thread that's biting into into the wood, and once that's set then we can uh, expand the, the holes in the, the, the metal to allow the, the outer diameter of the, uh, of the screw to, to pass through and um, chamfer the metal so that the, the screw goes fully home and, and, locks, and locks it in position so that, um, so that it can't move. And, um, and that would be it. I mean, you would be able to uh, weld, if you wanted, you'd be able to weld across here two bits of angle iron um, to make it completely rigid. Uh, I may not bother, 
because in, in as it is, you could maybe if you needed a larger to do a larger crank, um, you could remove these pieces and put in a larger piece of wood and um, and bring it apart at some point in the in, in the future. Um, by screwing it together, it should be absolutely fine because it'll be if it's a fixed system, and uh, the um, the dial test indicator with its magnet base can sit here, and so that becomes a closed system. Uh, as long as we have it more or less in line, it's fine because it's going to rotate and it's going to rotate. Um, in the same position. So uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's do it. Right. Okay. So uh, to set up now for drilling, um, what you need is you need um, a bar, and um, so that when you clamp up, when it's wrong, it's going to be like that. Okay, and so you would position one leg, the short leg, um, against against metal, like for example a vice. So if this leg is too far this way, so it's making it like that. What you do is you, with it all clamped up, you tap this leg and keep measuring with your square and um, so with your square against the, uh, the bar you can gradually keep tapping until it comes perfectly square and that's going to be good enough that's going to be perfectly fine because the shaft is going to rotate anyway nicely. Okay. So that's fine. And um, and we're now set up, it's all in position, and so we can then drill uh, through our our pilot holes into the wood and uh, and then we can lock that up we can we need to we need to lock this up so that we can then drill all the other all the other holes uh, without it moving once we've got it locked up so uh, that's the first that's the first stage is getting is getting the the v's uh, square then, then lock it up with screws, um, get some screws in, and then fit the other screws, and, um, and yeah, and that way it's, it's, the jobs are good. Okay, get back to you. So that's it finished. Um, yeah, it's quite lightweight, and uh, it's nice. Totally rigid, and um, yeah, I've tested the, uh, The bearing, and, um, everything spins nicely and square. Good enough. As I say, it's a closed system, so um, it doesn't matter. You know, we'll be um, attaching to this, and it's going to. The crankshaft is going to spin and go up and down, or whatever. Uh, the thing is that my engine seized. Um, with the main bearing, one main bearing. So one side of the of the crank stopped abruptly, and the other one would be trying to spin. And so the it may well the the two webs of the of the crankcase of the crankshaft may well have have come out of of position, and so they may may, may need um, tapping back. Well, we'll do another video um, showing truing the um, the crankshaft, but yeah, there we are, um, a crankshaft truing jig that we can clamp in the vise. We'll need some um, 
some packing here to um, to hold it, but it's going to stick out with the vise, and uh, the crankshaft is going to go here, and the we can put the um, the dial test indicator anywhere here with the magnetic base and uh, and take our reading. So that's going to be for another another video. But yeah, it's a, it's a great success um, so far. Let's see what happens with the with the crankshaft. Okay, bye for now, guys.